Example 3.2 involves water pressure in a tank. The problem statement is, what is the water pressure at a depth of 35 feet in the tank shown? And there's a sketch here of a tank. Situation. We have a column of water. Point 0.1 and point 0.2 are separated by 35 feet. We need the specific weight of water to solve this problem. We'll look this up at 1 atmosphere and 50 degrees Fahrenheit from table 8.5. The value is, specific weight is 62.4 pounds force per cubic feet. Goal, find the pressure at location 2 in units of pounds force per square inch gauge. First idea is force equilibrium. We'll draw the free surface of the water. We'll define a system. It is just the thinnest layer at the top surface. It looks like this. So that's area A. And we'll make this a differential thickness DZ. Let's take this system and expand it. And let's show the forces on this. We're looking at the free body. First off, this little chunk of fluid has a weight given by the weight per volume gamma times the area of this chunk A times the thickness delta Z. So this is the weight force. On the top the air is pushing down. The magnitude of that is the pressure of the area. Force times area times area. And on the bottom the water pressure is pushing up P water times area. If you look at these terms, this term right here is much smaller than these other terms because it has a differential quantity delta X. So the trick here is you say that's approximately zero compared to these other two terms. Then we have the air pressure times area is exactly equal to the water pressure times area and area will cancel and we can conclude pressure of the air is exactly equal to the pressure of the water at the interface. The second idea is the hydrostatic equation. We can select this because the specific weight of the water is constant and because the water is stationary. Here I've written the hydrostatic equation in its general form. The pressure at 1 divided by specific weight plus elevation at 1 is equal to the pressure at 2 divided by specific weight plus the elevation at 2. Pressure head plus elevation head at 1 equals pressure head plus elevation head at 2. Term by term analysis. At 1, the water pressure is equal to the air pressure, which is equal to 0 gauge. The elevation at 1 to define this, we have to define a datum, which we've done over here in this section. Let's set the datum at elevation 2. So the elevation at 1 with respect to this datum is 35 feet. The elevation at 2 with respect to this datum is 0. So there's 35 feet. Uh, the pressure at 2 is our goal. The specific weight of water is known. And the elevation at 2 with respect to our datum was zero feet. And so after term by term analysis, the hydrostatic equation reduces to 35 feet equals P2 over the specific weight of water. And there's our goal. That's known. One equation, one unknown. Our thinking is done. Let's go on to action. We have an equation for calculating the pressure at depth 2. Here's the equation. We put in the value of specific weight. And here's the resulting equation. Feet cancels. That becomes foot squared. Our units becomes pounds force per foot squared, which is a pressure unit. If we multiply this by 12 inches per foot, square everything, cancel units, uh, we'll get the answer in uh, pounds force per square inch. Final answer is 15.2 pounds force per square inch. This is uh, a gauge pressure, so we'll indicate PSIG for gauge pressure. To validate our answer, we can use the fact 
that the pressure in water at a depth of 34 feet is one atmosphere. This is a conversion factor that's useful to memorize. And one atmosphere is 14.7 pounds force per square inch gauge. We're at 35 feet of depth, and notice that the answer here is very close to this. That gives us confidence that we can trust our answer. When we specify pressure, we want to specify either gauge pressure or absolute pressure. For example, in traditional units, we can say PSI, but we really want to say PSIG for gauge or PSIA for absolute. In the SI system, instead of saying Pascals, we want to say Pascals of gauge pressure or Pascals of absolute pressure. 